guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is me basically showing you what I wear to college, I guess. Let me just clear the elephant in the room because I know so many of you are going to be like, Has, you don't even go to college, you go to university. <laughs> I do, in fact, go to university, but I feel like a lot of you are still in college, so I feel like this would be more age appropriate for you guys. If you're in school, obviously, and you're watching my videos, then apply it to your school if you don't have to wear a uniform. And if you're in preschool, because I know so many of you are so, so young, then apply this to your preschool. Or primary, for anyone that calls it primary. I don't know why I just call it preschool, like no one calls it that. I basically just thought that's the point in education that all of my audience is in between, so I thought that would be most fitting. Sis, if you're homeschooled, apply it to that too. As you can tell by the title, today's video is me showing you basically some cute as hell outfits that I would normally wear to uni. They're very, very comfortable. They're very weather appropriate at the minute because obviously it's a lot colder. You won't be seeing me trying to look cute because no one does that for uni. No one does it for college. And how do you wake up in the morning and try and make yourself look nice for that stuff? I don't do that. I also just want to clarify, I wouldn't normally have makeup on, so I'm just going to get straight into it you guys will get the gist of the vid as we go along i will obviously name all of the items but the links if i find them which i probably will will be in the description i doubt they'll be affiliate if they are then i'll put next to it that it's affiliate i'm gonna be a dedicated queenie today and put the prices on screen for you guys like i normally do so so funky groovy and fresh i feel like i need to move this side so that i can put past me on the screen you know doing a thing so i know that we only go to college uni whatever education that we're discussing five times a week me i actually only go three times a week so i don't don't go as many as probably you would in school. However, I've actually put seven outfits together for this video and some of them are kind of mix and match. Some of them are completely separate outfits. But let's be real, sis, I probably rewear the same trousers like five times in the space of two weeks. I'm not gonna lie. Why would I need to wash them? They're trousers. Like, obviously I wash them. I'm not unhygienic. That would be gross. But I get like a few wears out of them before I wash them because otherwise that's just a waste. Jumpers is also the same for me. I rewear jumpers so often. I like wear it for like two hours put it back in my wardrobe and then take it out the next week. I don't know if any of you guys do that. If you say that you don't, you're definitely lying to yourself because I know that you do. So yeah, let's just get started. So for the first look that you can see on the screen, I'm wearing my cargo pants and they're actually from Pretty Little Thing. This already comes with a buckle belt. A lot of you on Instagram have been asking me whether that's a separate belt of Pretty Little Thing, but it does come with the cargo pants and they're so freaking cute. I believe I got these in the smallest size because I was really cautious about the leg length. As a lot of you know, I'm very tall. They actually fit so well. They come just above my ankles, which is so, so nice. And they're very tight on the waist however if you undo the belt you can actually still stretch into them if you're worried about them being a bit too tight on the waist that's what the belt is for like the belt pulls it together so don't worry about that at first i'm also matching this with my white hugo boss jumper this is a crop jumper from basement vintage i don't know if any of you have heard of that brand before i have one in shoreditch which i go to quite regularly and that's where i got this one from yeah i just think it's cute as hell i think i only got it for like 20 pounds which is so so good i also have my playboy necklace from misguided i have it on now as well like when do i ever take this baby off never obviously you put a top underneath this if it's a little bit cold. I personally go for a white top or a black top depending what you fancy really. However this now swiftly moves us into look two which is the one I'm wearing right now. This look is my favourite look so far. Not gonna lie. I'm kind of obsessed with it. So this top is the orange Biggie Smalls top from Pretty Little Thing. I am obsessed with this t-shirt. I'm sure you would have seen it all over my Instagram by now because I pretty freaking love it. But I basically put this over the crop jumper and you can either leave it long or you can tuck it into the cargo pants or you can fold it up and tie it at the back and then tuck it in at the back to make a crop top. It really does just depend what your kind of style is, what you're feeling, how you feel comfortable in your body, but honestly, anything works. Me personally, I do prefer to crop it by folding it up and then tying it at the back. However, recently, because it's been so cold, I have been tucking it in, so... I never floats your boat, hun. I then also have my Captain and Son bag, which is my absolute fave at the minute. This is the Umia bag in black, just for any of you that haven't seen my Instagram stories recently. This bag is now my go-to uni bag, so it actually has room for my MacBook in there, whereas other bags I really struggle to find that. It fits up to a 13-inch MacBook, which I think is pretty decent, which means I'm pretty sure any laptop can fit in that up to a 13-inch, because isn't that, like, the largest laptop? I'm pretty sure it is. Anyway, it's just a really groovy, funky, and fresh bag. <laughs> I also think this goes so well with the outfit, obviously, because I have the Black in the cargo pants and yeah it's pretty cute on my feet as well i've just also got my nike air maxes these are the white ones these are so dirty and trash by the way i'm so sorry but they're uni shoes i'm not gonna wear in heels am i no so if you look free we keep it on the cargo pants again but we're just changing the top off and maybe the shoes and the top is also from pretty little things so it says living better and i just love the color combination i love the black white and red together that is one of my favorite color combos ever and again just like the orange top you can tuck it in you can crop it you can do whatever the hell you want with this 
style. As you can see on the screen, I also match it with a cropped black jumper, which is kind of like the white one, it's just not branded. This black jumper is also from Pretty Little Thing. I feel like this whole outfit is Pretty Little Thing. But sometimes I actually like to put the jumper underneath, like how I did with the white one before. Just because sometimes I want you to be able to see the logo on the top, because I think it's so freaking cute. It's like my favorite thing ever, so I don't really want to cover that. I then also match this with my black and red Hirachis. These are the Hirachi Ultras, for anyone that's wondering. Obviously, link will be in the description as well. More recently, I've been getting a lot of compliments on these. I've had them for roughly two and a half years, and I used to hate them. They've got this like weird glittery pattern on that I did not know was there when I first got them, so I kind of regretted buying them, but I'd already worn them, so it's a bit too late. But then, I used to wear them to work, and everyone loved them. Like, I don't know why. Apparently, people like them a lot. But I mostly match this with the top, because obviously, it's got the red and black in, and so do the shoes, which is freaking awesome. Look for is basically the same. I'm just changing the trousers a bit, just in case, I don't know, I want to be more comfortable or something, or I just want an all black outfit. So these trousers are tie waist trousers. These are from Pretty Little Things. And let me just say, these trousers cinch your waist in so much, like my fave things ever. So just a heads up if you want to go and get them. Because I think they're relatively cheap trousers as well. And they're such a comfy material. I wear these pretty much all the time to uni. As I said, I rewear trousers a lot, guys. However, we're just adding on some accessories. So for this look, I wanted to add a chain on. And I actually got this chain from some trousers from Girls Tour, which is a store, I believe, in Melrose in LA from when I went this year. Last year, oh my god, we're in 2019. Whoa. So I went last year. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure you can get these from like Topshop, Dolls Kill. I'm really not sure. If I find any alternatives, I'll put them in the comments just for anything that's quite similar. I'm sure a lot of you guys will probably have them already as they're very in fashion right now. So yeah, that was just a bit of accessorizing that I did just to make this look a bit different to the other days. And I matched this with my Santa Cruz top from Urban Outfitters before any of you say I don't skate, sis, I freaking know. But I do have a penny board, so I guess I kind of get away with it, right? guess that kind of works. So as I said, it's getting a little bit colder recently, so I would put on a jumper with this, and I'm just tucking it in. Again, you can fold it up and tuck it into like, it sounds really weird, but you can tuck it into your bra, which is what I do. It's just an easier way, instead of tying it with a hair tie, you can tuck it into your bra. But this is my black and neon green champion jumper. This is from Urban Outfitters. However, I bought it on the American store, so you might have to go on the American store and shop that. I did buy it two years ago though, guys, so I'll try my best to find it, but as I said, it's old stock, so it might not be on that. Changing this look up a little but again, I'm just adding a Baker Boy hat. This is from New Look. I'm absolutely in love with this recently. This is also a pro tip for anyone that doesn't really like wearing makeup to college or uni. I know that in school you can't really do this unless you don't have a uniform, which is kind of the point why you'd be watching this video. <laughs> Put a Baker Boy cap on. I'm not even joking you. It covers your forehead, which is like my biggest insecurity anyways, apart from my nose. But my forehead is quite a big insecurity of mine anyway. And it also makes like a shadow on top of your eyes so no one can see your dark circles. Win-win, right? I know. Look at me. Pro tips over here. Yeah. And I'm also just matching this with my Captain and some bag again. I literally take my laptop to uni every single day, by the way. That's why I keep using this bag. You will never ever see me with a smaller bag for uni. It's always a big bag because I got a lot of stuff. So the shoes I probably wear for this look are my Feeler Mind Blower trainers. I actually got these from Urban Outfitters and they are my favorite shoes at the minute. It's probably just because they're so clean, but I just love the neon accents on them. Like they're my favorite things. So for look six, we're also keeping the trousers again as well as the chain and we're just changing like the upper area. So firstly, I put on this lime green or neon, I guess you could call it. Zip top, this is kind of an undershirt, which you can wear as an undershirt, which I will show you in a sec. Just hold your boo. But I also like to wear this just as a normal top and tuck it into the trousers. As I said, these trousers really pull your waist and so I think it looks so freaking cute when you've got a tight top on as well. However, if you also zip it all the way up to the top and then put any black crop top on, this one is from Primark. Again, got it like a year and a bit ago, so if it's still in there, then you're very lucky. But I'm sure they always do basic stuff like that anyways. If you zip it up and then you can tuck the green up, if that makes sense, so that it kind of looks like you're wearing a crop top underneath, that is a look. I love that so, so much. And again, I match it with my Feeler Mind Blower trainers just because of the neon accents in the shoes. It matches the top. So the last look, we are not reusing any trousers in this look. We're not reusing anything, actually. Everything in this look is completely new. You haven't seen it in the video yet. Isn't that amazing? The top is Lazy Oaf, and I actually got this on sale at Urban Outfitters. I will, again, try and find a link for you, but it might be on the Lazy Oaf website. And I've just matched this with some Toby jeans. I've matched this with my checkerboard Vans because I don't really have any other black and white shoes. But I think they go, even though it's a clash of patterns. I don't know. Hate me down in the comments. I know I haven't shown it in this little video, but you can 
can't actually put a black undershirt on if you want to, like a black jumper, like the black crop top that I showed you at the beginning. You can tuck it in, you can leave it loose, you can even fold this one up again and crop it if you want to. However, I do prefer to leave this one long. I'd also match this with my Captain and some bag again. And then if you wanted to, you could also put a fleece on. I love this fleece so, so much. For the life of me, I don't know how to pronounce the brand's name. So what an urban outfit is, and it's called Yet Franz. I always used to think it was Jets Franz. I didn't realize it was an I for so long, but I think it's Yet's Franz. If it's not, let me know how I pronounce it in the comments, but I know it stands for It's French, I think. I think that's what it stands for, It's French. I mean, that's what I always told customers anyway, so. I know this is kind of like a dad look, and a lot of you probably won't like this, but when I tell you it's the comfiest fleece, oh my God, it's so comfortable. I used to wear this to work every single week, every single week. You might see me three shifts a week with that same outfit on, because it was so comfortable, and I just felt so like nice in it, you know? I really hope you guys did enjoy those seven outfits, because I feel like they're so effortless. I know I didn't layer that much, but I'm really starting to get into that now. I think it looks so cute, especially when you have a jumper underneath a tee. Like, I just as I said, all of the links will be in the description. I also just want to say a huge thank you to Captain Anderson as well because they did send me that bag and I love it so, so much. My uni life has become so much easier now that I have that bag because I didn't have that space before and now I do. So thank you so, so much Captain Anderson for that. Their link will be in the description as well as their Instagram. All the links for the rest of the items as well will be in the description as well as my social media links. If you want to follow me on any of my social medias, check down below. I'm also going to pop my Instagram on the screen over here because I feel like I'm really up in my game at the minute. I also speak to you guys so, so, so much over there and it's like my favorite thing ever to do and I love talking to you guys so please message me on there because I'm lonely. That sounded like a joke but a hikey wasn't. <laughs> Seriously though it sounds so cringy and I know that so many people are gonna be like oh my god this is so cringe why would you say that? But the first thing I actually do when I wake up in the morning is check my unread messages. It sounds really strange but like I don't know. For someone to have a random thought to think about me and message me is cute as fuck. I just love that. A lot of you guys are already in my normal messages so it is a lot harder to respond to you guys because I do mostly check my unread. I do talk to you guys quite often though so <laughs> just literally spam me and until I reply and then I'll reply. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit a big thumbs up, hit subscribe button down below as well if you found something. Leave absolutely anything in the comments. In fact, actually tell me if you're allowed to wear stuff like this to whatever education you're in. Draped in all design, draped in all design. I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in next week's video. Bye guys. Okay, it's rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that. Balling. Doing this is my calling.